Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Buckley. I'm back for our second video visit. I have been thinking about school a lot because I miss you guys so much. One of the things I have really been missing is the time that we spent at the drawing table on Tuesday afternoons. Do you remember when we were making lots of pictures of animals there? Well, I thought it might be fun if we did a picture of a little cartoon dog together. And we can do this very easily just by using a couple of simple shapes. The circle, the triangle, and the oval. But first, since we're doing a picture of a dog, I thought it might be fun if we spent a little bit of time with my dog. Before we go outside and meet her, I wrote a little poem to introduce her to you. And I want to read it to you now. See if you can catch all the words that rhyme. I might have to read part of it because I might forget some of it. Ready? I have a little dog at home. She's white with bits of brown. She barks and yaps at everything and rarely settles down. She has a lot of energy. She runs and hardly stops. She goes around in circles until she finally drops. She's very sweet and friendly. She loves everyone she meets. Our neighbors stop to pat her and often bring her treats. Because of all her running round in circles till she's dizzy. We've changed her name from Isabel. Instead, she's Dizzy Izzy. All right, let's head outside and take a look at this very strange and wild little animal and spend some time with her, okay? All right, see you out there. Hi everybody, this is Buckley back in my backyard with my little dog Izzy down here. And Mr. Buckley is out here also doing our filming for us. This is a chuck -it. It's a little tennis ball. And this doohickey here helps me throw it farther than I normally would. So, if you'll take a look at Izzy, you will see that she does not take her eyes off the chuck -it. She loves the chuck -it. Ready, Is? Let's try it. Come on. Good job, Is. Let's go again. Ready? She is certainly not a sloth, is she? Come on. Oh, Is. She can be very speedy. Chuck it. Let's see if she'll do some more tricks for us, okay? Sometimes she does, sometimes she does. Ready is? Sit. Good girl. Stay. And we're back. I hope you had as much fun outside with Dizzy Izzy as I did. I always enjoy spending time outside with her because I think she's so very funny. All right, let's get to our, our own drawing, our picture of a little, a little cartoon drawing of a dog. It's like a little emoji dog, really. What you'll need is a piece of paper and a pencil. Then, if you wanna get a little bit more involved later on, you can use a marker and some colored pencils to color it in. If you want to just stick with the basics, that's fine too. Let's get started. 
We're going to start with our just our pencil and our piece of paper, okay? Let's draw. Hi, we're ready to start our drawing. We have a piece of paper. I would suggest that you all start with a pencil. I'm going to use a marker because I want you to be able to see clearly what I'm doing. When you're finished with your drawing or partway through it and you, you like what you have with a pencil, you can go over with a marker too to see so you can see it more clearly. We're going to start our little dog with two little ovals. These are going to be your eyes. And we're going to put a little circle, just a little curved line like this, at the top of your oval. These little circles, they will make your eyes look nice and shiny because we're going to fill in the rest of the eye. like this. Try and stay in your oval. There we go. Now, between the two eyes, we're going to take and use just the bottom part of a triangle. So it's going to be like a V. Two lines that come to a point and then another line going up like that. And then part of a circle, uh, just a little curved line starting at one point to the other. So just take your pencil and join the two points. Now you have your little puppy's nose. And if you want to now, you can color that in. Remember, things do not have to be perfect and you can make changes. This is going to be a good drawing even if it's not exactly the same as my drawing. Your drawing will be just as good. Now, our next step is that we are going to make a little tiny mouth. So we're going to put a little curved line from the bottom of the doggy's nose, just like that. How about, hmm, a little tongue coming out. For this, we're going to use a half of an oval. Now remember, your eyes were ovals, right? So you're going to start about halfway down the puppy's little uh, mouth line, and we're just going to do a half of an oval. So we're going to come down, we're going to go around, and come back up. And you have your puppy's tongue. All right. Another thing to remember, children, if you find that you need more time in between these steps to do them, for instance, when you're filling in your eyes, or your nose, or for any reason. If you need more time, you can pause the video, do what you need to do, and then start it up again. All right? No problem there. Now we're going to work with a bunch of half circles, all right, or part circles. So we're going to go like we would if we were making a whole circle, but we're just going to stop short. So we're going to come over here to about the middle of the eye and straight across, and it doesn't have to be exact. And we're going to make a big curved part circle, just like that. That's the top of the head. We're going to do this a couple of more times too. This dog is going to have very chubby little cheeks. So we're going to go back to where we started our head and we're going to make another part circle 
a big curved line that comes out like this. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right. Now you can see mine are not exact either, but I like those chubby little cheeks. Okay. And we're going to now connect these two areas just like this for his little chin. Nice job. Now we have a big head with big cheeks. We have two eyes. We have a nose. We have a mouth. What else does this puppy need? I know. Let's give him a nice big spot. A circle around one eye. Oh, he looks cute now. I love it. Finally, we need this dog to be able to hear. Let's give him some ears. Here we go. Start about at the top of the eye and just make another one of these big curvy lines. Curve, 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 curve down here. And we're going to do the same thing again on the other side because we want our dog to have two ears, don't we? Let's start about here and make a big curve, 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 twirl it back in here. All right. I'm loving the way this little dog looks. Let's put a little color in, finishing touch, and see how it goes. We're going to give him a little brown spot around his eye. And you can color in better than this. I just want to give you an idea of what it can look like. And you, of course, can do this differently. If you want a purple dog or a pink dog, a psychedelic dog with bright colors, or if you don't much enjoy coloring and you just want to leave it like a big cartoon, you can do that too. So his ears are going to be brown, I think. I think I like this because these are the same colors that Izzy has. So I kind of like my dog to be that way too. And you see how the eyes look nice and shiny because we left that little circle? Now I'm going to take my pink pencil and give his tongue a little color. And voila, that's my little emoji dog. What do you think? Well, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm sure your drawings are adorable. Keep practicing, keep playing, keep safe. It's about all the time we have for this visit. Can't wait to come back and see you again pretty soon. This is Izzy and I signing off. Bye. Here's your treat.